Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jacob here back again with another Borderlands 2 video and today I'm going to be going over my perfect OP-10 uh, Siren or Maya and I'm going to be showing all the gear off and uh, the skill tree and you know just like what I do in like certain situations when I need like fire, whatever, what raid boss I'm fighting and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions or would like to just talk to me, you can easily comment or you can head to the link in the description or the link on my channel banner and uh, join my Discord and yeah, you can hang out with us, you know. Um, I also have my friend Zyrian in there. He makes GTA 5 mod videos kind of like I do. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, so here we are on Borderlands 2 and here is my Siren build. Um, I'm just going to show the backpack at first. So I pretty much main a Sandhawk. You phase lock someone, you know, you just hit them with the Sandhawk. Um, depending on, of course, which element you're using. So like fire, of course, I'd use against flesh enemies, you know, corrosive, which I have over here, uh, right here. And I also have a shock one to take down shields like someone like Pyro P. He's got a pretty beefy shield. So I'm just going to go ham on his shield with that. Um, I use the Grog for healing. Uh, yeah, I've... Um, yeah, I just use a grog for healing. Um, I also use the Pimpernel for more beefy, like, uh, enemies. Like, whether it's a loader or, you know, because I have a corrosive one for a loader, obviously. Use a B-Shield, of course. B-Shield, obviously, will make you do a lot more damage. And it's very helpful for doing a lot more DPS and stuff like that. Uh, the Legendary Siren class mod is my go-to class mod. Unless, um, you know, I want to throw on uh, Breakneck Banshee, of course, to just, uh, you know, just speed boost all around and if i'm gonna use breakneck banshee of course i'm gonna put on rough rider so i can just zoom across the map i use the crossfire to just uh do a bunch of slag damage you know and slag enemies and just go ham on them and of course i have the bone of the ancients for each element um so in case i'm taking down a shield of course i'm gonna use shock if i'm killing someone like uh the bunker i'm gonna put on corrosive damage or loaders and stuff like that uh, some other weapons I like to use is the Interfacer. A uh, North Fleet is always great to have, you know. North Fleet will just get you up from pretty much any situation if you just plop it down right here. You know, you can just pop it out while you're uh, down and just get an easy kill real quick. Uh, the Uncomed Herald, of course, probably the best pistol in the game, no doubt about it. Um, you know, I got my uh, Firehawks here, and I got a Pimpernel for each uh, element right here as well. Um, got some Cosmos Legendary Siren, Legendary Cat. Her rebounding warder, um, neutral, true neutral, cleric. I think it's cleric, uh, class mod right here. Big magazine size. I don't use it very often. I don't use, uh, really these last three very often. I use pretty much legendary siren, legendary cat, and I use the breakneck banshee, uh, rough rider. So, yeah, so I can just zoom, of course. And chain lightning, magic missile. Magic missile is probably one of my favorite, um, uh, nades in the game and what else is there yeah i got a sham of course you gotta have a sham because you just want to you know pop out the logan's gun get some extra rocket ammo or if you're just using north fleet period you can just pop on one of those so uh yeah now i'm also going to show you the skill tree that i use uh this is pretty um nothing special here the reason i don't go in a sub uh, sequence is because you know um when the phase lock is moving it doesn't move very fast and it also wastes your um your skill and you know it sometimes it won't even ever catch up to another enemy and it's just pretty much wasting time especially if it's going after like a flying enemy or something agile like a rat or something it's really not worth it and i don't use it very often but if you do want to use it um you can probably take off the breakneck banshee and just put it all in here that's about all the only adjustment i would make to this skill tree um this um res i pretty much play co-op most of the time but when i'm solo i would usually take this off and either put it here in blight phoenix or i just put another one here you know uh, because if you're playing mostly solo, there's absolutely no reason to have this. It's absolutely useless. But on the last skill tree, of course, um, there's not much you can move around here. Except for, of course, if you have the extra one from here, you can just plop it down on Blight Phoenix. Um, you know, the little skill, the Firehawk skill. So, uh, yeah, let me go kill some enemies and show off this build a little bit. So, I believe there's going to be just some fire dudes over here. I have no ammo for that. As you can see, elemental damage on the Siren build is absolutely insane. I just realized I also don't have a decent shield on. So, um, uh, yeah. 
this is the build. It's really easy to use. It, it doesn't really take the most skill. It's very fun too. Fun little solo build. This is probably my go-to build other than Salvador when I'm playing solo. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please remember to drop a like, subscribe. If you guys are interested in joining the Discord, um, you know it'll probably be mostly uh, Borderlands and GTA in that Discord. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of those stuff, want to just talk, ask questions instead of commenting, you know, on my actual video, then go ahead and just join the Discord, and um, I'll be sure to get back with you as quickly as I can. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.